seems like everything is frequencies when you come right down to it. Yeah, material substance, we know from quantum physics, is, is waveforms. It's not actually anything, anything at all, or all things are energy. Like e equals mc squared mass. So mass is energy, a form of energy. But it's a standing wave. So it's a, the, the frequency of something that has always existed and always will exist in a sense of its existence, the frequency is zero, right? At zero hertz. It has coherence in time, across time. It exists now and now and now. It's coherent in time. Uh, there's different time, types of coherence. I mean, coherence, uh, something exists, uh, a physical object exists coherently in space. It's here now. And it moves, has a certain coherence of location. It moves from here to here, moves through the space in between. But objects that have another type of coherence the, of the, what we call uh, you know, a, a macroscopic quantum object like the spirit body, it can go from here to here by thought, by intention, without moving through the space in between, just like electrons can do and you know, quantum particles can do. Because it, even though the spirit is, is large, it's, you know, in, in a sense, the, the main body is as large as our biological body. In another sense, its functional reach of its body is to the stars, to the heavens. We can, you know, they say uh, you know, certain thoughts we call prayers because they can reach heaven because of their coherence. When we look at, at the energy frequency patterns of different emotional states, it's only the, the heart-based emotions like love, <coughs> love and joy and gratitude that, that can reach to the heavens because it's the only waveform that's coherent. Anger is a quick, short waveform, right? And sadness would be a, a slow waveform that, that peters out. But love sustains. It trans transcends time. It, it's like a laser. It keeps going. <laughs>